Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We are opening up a box of 2022 Heritage Baseball. This is a hobby box. Uh, can't wait to see what's inside of this. Always a fun product based on the 1973 design. You get one autograph or relic per box. 500 count uh, set or card set. Uh, 400 regular cards and 100 short prints. And of course your chance at a real one autograph. Always coveted. The set looks awesome. And baseball's back for 2022 full season. Baseball is back. These boxes are very interesting. They are probably like two inches longer than a regular Harry box, yeah. which is weird. I wish I had um, one sitting out here, but yeah, they are long. Yeah, they are oddly long, uh, but they do look very, very cool. I would definitely put one of these on my box shelf. Yes, yes. Um, but Tatis unfortunately broke his wrist, fractured his wrist, and Pete Alonso like rolled his car, like got into some kind of bad car accident. He's fine, I guess. But oh. That was the other piece of yeah. I did news. see something about him. Yep, and uh, of course all the trades that have been going on, a um, right. lot of stuff happening. B biggest one so far, at least as of yesterday, was Matt Olson. Yep, going to the going Braves, to the Braves right? which is big news. Freddie Freeman still. As of uh, recording this video, it hasn't signed yet with anybody, but people are saying probably the Dodgers. Of course. You can get these in autograph form, the box toppers, and there's various kinds. There's original um, 1973 cards that you can get. I love this design. I love the 73 design. So this is a very fun one. You get, of course, a chance at all the uh, short prints and... Um, you know variations in here and the variations are on the back we also have some numbers for you too if you're interested but they have a lot more uh this year as far as variety goes for parallels they got a red a silver and a green bordered yes so this right here is going to be a high number sp anything 401 to 499 is going to or 401 to yep. 500 is going to be a high number sp so this is victor caratini so you can tell by the numbering, which is nice and easy to see. And then down here too, there will be a different code. Uh, last three digits there, 931. Yep. Of the base, they are 915. So there is the first one there. And that was like the third card to the back. So it's always interesting to see what spot those cards end up in because some are a lot different than others depending on the year. So Yeah, and generally speaking, if you get an insert, you're not going to get a short print or a variation. Right. Uh, Dylan... Carlson that kind of looked like an action but I don't know. Uh, oh, so there is, is a Baldino. flashbacks endangered species act passed. We learned about that in history class. All the pesticides or whatever were killing the bald eagles. So. Yeah. Yeah, when I was young, it was like a super rare thing to see a bald eagle. By the way, the different pack arts are dope too. Yeah. That's really cool. The tops did a good design. Uh, right? Harper Perez is that Perez? Yeah, Silver or Perez. Yeah, it's, hard to, yeah. it's hard to tell. And then uh, Devers and Bogart. So. Yeah, Tom did a really good job with the uh, pack art and the box art. Yeah, I'm a fan. Corey Dickerson, Ryan Presley, Romy Gonzalez. Yeah, these 73 cards do look awesome. Gilbert, Blackman, Horner, and Swanson. So uh, Wander is a redemption in here. He's not a live signer in this set. So if you get a redemption. Right. You uh, may have a you big, may huge have a card. Huge card so and the real one autographs are definitely one of the more sought after ones in at least historically in tops yeah they do tend to do pretty well in the secondary market so yeah, i think that was just a base i think this one was too they've been getting a lot better they'll say now yes uh, the variations compared to when they used to yeah and it's right by the number on the baseball there on the back where it says you know 164 or whatever and then it will say what it is so a lot of cards. There's a insert, New Age Performers, Cabrian Hayes. When you get an insert, you're almost never going to get something else in that pack um, when you're digging through these looking for the SPs. Yeah, and in a hobby box, generally you're going to get a couple um, packs at least, maybe probably like four to six packs. It's just all base cards. That Arroyo right there. So it is the third card from the back that has been the special card so far that is a high number. You're generally going to get eight high numbers per box. That is the average. They're one in every three packs. Um, so comes out to eight per box. It's been that way for years now. So Yeah, it's a pretty affordable product too. Um, a cheaper than Series 1. I know people don't like it as much because there's so much base in it. Um, but uh, the hits you can pull out of here are sometimes 
huge. The ceiling in this product is, well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's higher than Series 1, yeah, but, but you have a better chance to pull a big card yes. out of this than you yes. do out of Series 1. Because they didn't make as much of it as Series 1. It's just harder to get, for some people, to get really excited about it because yeah. it is, you know, heritage. So uh, definitely gears more towards a set builder, not someone chasing the big hits. Uh, flashbacks, right. insert. Because in a case, you may get a couple of big hits. It, or... It may not big hits, but you get hits. Here so. I think we have our relic. Our relic card. Uh, Kraus. Generally, you're going to have to open up four or five. That's pretty cool. JD Martinez. Uh, one regret. I was just at a card show, and I did not buy a JD Martinez, David Ortiz, dual autograph tribute booklet card uh, <gasps> that I definitely should have picked up. <sighs> How much was that one? Like 120 bucks. 120 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. I was going to walk back over and grab it, but somebody had already uh, picked right, it up. Picked so up. we've got a green chrome in here. So the greens are... Was a short printer of those. Red border, silver border, green. Green are next yeah, to black. Green, so yeah, green are tough. numbered at 273. So okay. that's a good It's a wander. That would be big. Yeah, it'd be massive. Come on, Tampa. No. No, it's Bo, though. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad name yeah. at all. He's popular. Especially... That foot in the card's weird, but... That's really weird. Isn't that odd? Like that blurred out. Blood. It is. It's kind of cool, but yeah, it's weird. Yeah, the greens look cool. I'm glad they added more chrome parallels. Yeah. It's a good way to make this much less boring is to add more chrome. We've been so. asking for that for a while in Heritage. Um, I bet some people don't like it. but Yeah, I'm sure traditional collectors may not like it. There's a number in there as well. And you're not guaranteed a wanderer out of each hobby box because of the fact that... Um, I'm just wondering. I don't remember them ever putting in that's weird. old guys into the base set. What's before. the What's the code on there? It's just the regular base code. Huh. I don't remember either. I don't think they ever did. Did they? Let us know in the comments below. They ever put like, former players in here? Like yeah, like Hall of Fame retired. I don't I remember. Would, I don't think so. Don't but know. we've been building these sets for a long time. Soto card school. Rara, New Age Performers, Vlad. That's the only one I've seen so far, too. So Yeah, may maybe they have. I mean, I know they've had those guys in the autograph. Whoa, that's weird. Skramski. That's Mikey Skramski, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hosmer, Cronenworth, Alfred Contreras, Stolen Base Leaders, Merrifield, and Turner. That's just part of the base set, Alfaro. It, it's always Max. worth checking all the backs, though, just in case they yep. there was something different. Like, after there. this video, we will we'll go back through yeah. them anyway, just to double check. But All right, so, you know, typical um, heritage, you're going to get a uh, relic card. I mean, it's like usually a couple autographs per case. Um, best way to go if you want to open up Heritage and you can afford it is buy a case. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you're not always going to make all your money back, but you'll have a better chance of doing it. But they're expensive. Now, you know, before Used they were be pretty like 60 affordable. Bucks a box. Now yeah. it's like, you know, 90 to 100 to 110, depending on where you're getting your boxes from. All right, but. so the third card from the back. So that would be this one. That's not a high number, so... I'll just, just speed up yeah. the process. I'll just take a look at them. I think that was just a base pack, but... I agree. All right, let's see if we have anything in here. That green is pretty sweet, though. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. Yeah. Really, really the tough part about it, though, is, you know, you have night... You know, you spend 100 bucks, let's say, on a hobby box, and uh, yeah, let's take there's one right there. A high number. A high number. Um, so... And then you get, you know, maybe fifty dollars worth of cards back if you're lucky. And you know, then so that's why it's really tough about this product. But of course, series one, <laughs> in my opinion, is has a lot less value in it uh, overall because it, they printed so much of it. You'd be amazed how well this stuff does just long term and selling. Yeah. Like I can randomly pull stuff out of like dollar boxes at shows. Like I bought a Mookie Betts action variation for right. like three dollars out of a value box from like four years ago Heritage and sold it within like five minutes on eBay. Yeah, because a lot of the a lot of the variations are um, good players, so they have a lot like a lot longer longevity. Uh, I would think the product does. Longer longevity. Yeah, longer longevity. Say that correctly. I don't think there's anything in there, but so far we have not gotten an action or any kind of like throwback. Last or... year the actions were tougher to pull. That's true. Uh, they have not been one per box like they were in the past. Yeah, exactly. Um, there he is. 
uh, Freddy. And there's a high number. So, yep, third card from the back. And these guys, the high number set this year, I looked at the checklist. I just took a quick look. There's basically nobody good on it. Yeah, again. it's all the no names. There's a couple of like decent guys, but it's pretty trashy. Now, I read on one of the websites that there are three players, Mount Castle and two other guys. I can't remember who they were. Trey Mancini and I don't know, somebody else. But they all have like chrome cards in here, but they have no base cards. That's weird. So they're going to put the... Um, that's just to insert. Um, they're going to put the those guys into... High number. High number, yeah. So, interesting. I don't like that. Yeah, I think it was a screw up, and they probably, probably it probably went to the printers too late, and that was it. Or they just caught it after it already got printed, and then you can't. Right, do anything. and then you can't do anything. Yep. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, is he a high number? No. Wander Frank. There he is. Special spot, Wander. Isn't it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Still but still, nice, nice, nice water. It looks pretty well centered too. These things are going to be brutal to grade. Yeah, they are because the brutal. the backs. Yeah, I, I would not send oh. any of the stuff that's cheaper. I would not recommend it. Yeah, you could because get you, toasted. You, well, it's just going to be like all nines and nine fives. It'll be tough to get tens. Yeah. I love I love the look of the cards. So the rookie cup on there, and yeah. if I was a huge Wander fan, I would definitely uh, snag a real one autograph of. Wander that card, yeah. Awesome. It, and yeah, th now may be the time to do it. It's hard to know. People flood the market sometimes with this stuff. Um, uh, there's a high number right there. I personally would, Brandon Marsh, I would hold off for like a couple of years before I'd buy one because once Tops Chrome and all that stuff comes out, true, then the heritage autos will go down a little bit. But if you wanted one, what I'm saying, if you wanted one in the next, you know, month, sometimes at the beginning, because people just try to unload the stuff. It's interesting it's how enough. it works. Yeah, and sometimes you overpay for it. It's, yeah, you got to kind of know the market or what what your um, uh, insert, answer. what what your budget is and go from there. So, so far it's been a pretty lackluster, normal sort of heritage box. Definitely a product that is not for everybody, but it's still one of my favorite products of the year. Um, and retail can be actually a lot of fun. Not a high number, so, I mean, maybe we missed something in that, but no. I don't think so. Retail can be good, but it can also be bad, so. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, and if the variations of these, or like if the variations are really tough to pull out of retail and out of hobby, then it makes retail almost not worth opening because yeah. it gets very tough if you cannot get stuff there's a high number easily. but there's like in years past there's been a chrome or like a special variation in every blaster or a relic or something yeah and they're worth opening but if you don't have that then it gets tough so let's see is this last pack gonna have anything in it or are we gonna just get that I chrome card the chrome and that's how this stuff is they make a ton of it so. yeah and i'm sure this year they made even more but. of course all right cj chrome we have a Starling Marte there. New Age Performers and... Wrist Performers. Yeah, I think that was it. That was it. So, wow. Yep. All right, typical heritage. Um, well, actually, not typical. It's actually worse than it has. It's gone progressively downhill in terms of what you get over the past, like, two years. It's The quality yes. has gone down quite a bit. Yeah, it, it's typical in the fact that you get the relic and you get a chrome card but we didn't get anything you used else. to get a relic a chrome and then you'd get an action or some other type yeah. of variation in every box yeah now you used to like get about get... right about three things that you'd get that you look for per box now it's like two if you're lucky yes so yeah. tough pretty tough um we did pull a wander which is good and we did get a good name for that green chrome um but yeah uh i have a feeling the hobby prices aren't going to go up much at this point unless wander franco comes out of the gates just smoking hot in the spring then they'll shoot way up but maybe maybe uh depends on how much they actually made of this i have not seen anybody do any kind of videos as to if they think they made a lot more heritage or not but we'll see let us know in the comments below what you think thanks so much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this video let us know if you bought any heritage and if so what have you pulled out of it have your boxes been better than this one um we'll do we'll try to do another box or two down the road and we'll have some of this in our 
um, random packs videos too. So stay tuned for that. Take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next break.